To start today's maths lesson, we are going to be looking at making a multiplication four square. So this is where you can use four different strategies to try and solve a multiplication problem. The first strategy that I am going to use is called an arrays strategy. So this is where we line the numbers up. So our first problem is going to be looking at 4 times 5. We need to work out what 4 times 5 equals. So we're going to create our row. So I need to do 4 rows going down and I'm going to need to do 4 rows going across. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Now I'm going to fill in all of my blank rows just like that. So now I've got four rows going down and I have five rows going across. So if I add them all together, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that means my answer is 20. I'm not going to write it in just yet though. I'm going to try some other strategies to make sure that I've got the same answer first. Another option you can also use when you're doing an arrays, you can use anything around home such as pencils or rocks and you can line them up just like I'm showing you right now. These are some simple things you might be able to find around the house if it helps you to use something with your hands as well. So it's the same thing, but I'm just going to do using different kinds of rocks that I've just gone around and found off the ground. Because I sometimes find that by using something hard with my hands, it helps me learn a bit better. The next strategy that I'm going to look at is skip counting. So just this box down here. So that is when we're going to start at the number zero for our first example. And I want to go up in fours. So I'm going to start with zero and then I'm going to jump up by fours. So if I count one, two, three, four, my first number is going to be four. So that was a plus four. Now, because I'm using the number four, I'm going to have to do this five times. So four plus another four is eight. So I've got one jump. I've got two jumps so far. So I still have three more to go because we needed to get to five, remember? So eight plus four is twelve. Plus another four is 16. And then I've got one to go, I think. I'll double check by counting. I've got one, two, three, four. Yep, this will be my fifth jump. 16 plus four is oh, 20. That's the same number I got up here. Good job. Another way that you can also do it is by counting up in fives and doing it four times. So I'm gonna start with my zero. I'm gonna go up with my plus fives. So I know my first number is gonna be five. I'm gonna add another five. So that's gonna make 10. Now remember, we're only gonna do this four times. So I've already jumped once, twice. This is now the third time. So 10 plus 5 is oh, 15, because 5, 10, 15, yep, that's right. And then one more jump. So 1, 2, 3, 4, because 5 times 4 is, so 15 plus 5 is 20. So our next strategy we're going to look at is repeated addition. So using our repeated addition, similar to when we do our skip counting, but we don't need to draw our lines. So if I'm going to start with four. Now, before I learned that we had to go up by five, so I have to count plus four. So four plus 
four plus four plus four plus four equals. Now this is a good time where you can go back and use your rocks if you want to count them out by groups of four. You can use them by saying this is a group of four, this is a group of four, this is a group of four, and doing it that way. So I know that my answer is four plus four plus four plus four plus four is 20. And then we can do the same thing using our fives, but because we're using our fives, we only have to go up by doing it times four. So five plus five plus five plus one more five equals 20 again. Good job. So our last strategy we're going to look at is grouping. So similar to what I demonstrated earlier with our repeated addition, I am going to use rocks and I am going to make four groups of five. So I'm going to draw four big circles. And I'm going to put five rocks in each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So then I can check that I've got five groups of four. And so I've checked all my other answers now. And I think that the final answer is going to be 20. So I'm going to fill in my center box. Good job.